Hey YouTube, it's Mortimer, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this awesome venom snake look, uh, but more femaleized uh, for cosplayers who want to cosplay as a girl version of Snake from Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain. Uh, personally, I love Snake. He's my favorite character, so I was really excited to kind of do a more feminine version of him. Uh, so I hope you guys like this tutorial. It's probably the most in-depth tutorial that I've ever done. There's a lot more steps uh, than I've ever done in a tutorial before. And uh, just different things I've never done before. Like I've never done like scars before and things like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. All right, so this is my face with just my regular foundation on. I'm only wearing one contact because the other eye is going to be covered with an uh, eye patch. So there's really kind of no point in it. I also have my hair tied back, so I'm using a lot of weird mixtures. And don't forget your reference pictures so you can know where to put all your scars. So I'm starting off with a Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm going to go ahead and just shade in my cheekbones with the lightest brown color. And then I'm going to go in with the darkest brown and I'm just going to accent that at the very top of the cheekbones just to give it more of a sculpted look. I'm also going to take it and put it along the sides of my nose to contour my nose and you can see right away that it's an immediate difference. Snake is a very sculpted face and I kind of wanted to show that on my own face. I also put a little bit of contouring around the temples and around the sides of my foreheads uh, just to kind of complete the whole contouring on the face. Next I'm taking the Hourglass Illuminating Powder and I'm putting that on top of my cheekbones just to complement the highlighting and uh, give a little bit more sculpting. I keep saying that. Lots of sculpting! <laughs> I'm also going to take it and put it on the bridge of my nose, pull that up to my forehead and uh, just blend that all in. So no blush on this tutorial. I'm not doing a girly snake. I want to be a badass. Uh, so I'm going to be taking my loose powder and blending everything together. Uh, this is good because it makes our contouring not look so harsh, but it makes it look uh, professional. Next I'm taking the My Crazy Life palette by Kat Von D and I'm using her highlighting shade to contour highlight to highlight the bottom of my eyebrows and the tops of my eyebrows uh, just to make them pop a lot more once I fill them in. Um, it really does make a difference. I would not skip this step if you were serious about your eyebrows and put a little bit on the inside corners of your eyes too. They make your eyes look wider. So I'm just blending all that together. Blend, blend, blend. And next I'm taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and I'm taking the taupe middle color and putting that on the full eyelid and pulling it around to the bottoms of the eyelids as well. At this point you really don't have to put any more eyeshadow or eye decoration around your right eye as it's going to be covered with an eye patch. Um, and I'm just going to take a little bit of black powder and put that at the crease of the eye and pull that around to the bottom of the eye as well to make more of a smoky look. All right, so now I'm going to do my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Wiz. I'm going to line the bottom of my eyebrow, uh, just precisely along the actual bottom of my eyebrow and elongate it a little bit. And then I'm going to exaggerate the top line uh, to give myself more of a strong eyebrow because female snake would totally have a strong eyebrow, right? And then I'm just going to go ahead and color all of that in. forget to spoolie it too. Just take a like an eyebrow spoolie and kind of brush it so it looks a little bit more natural. All right so next I'm doing the eyeliner. Once again you only have to do this on one eye. Um, I'm gonna take the black eyeliner and I'm going to put it across the top lid of my eye and I'm using Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner if you're wondering. It's amazing. Um, and I'm also going to make the wing a lot lower than I would normally do it, uh, just to give more of a uh, serious look, not as happy and, I don't know, it's hard to describe, but that's just how I see it. Also a little bit of black around the bottom of the eye, and next I'm going to do the inner corner so you can see the lower wing. 
and oh my god I cannot believe myself you guys I am totally leaning out of frame so you can't even see me do the inner corner of the eye so please forgive me uh, I don't know what I was thinking just didn't check the camera but there you can see it's done and uh, you can basically see me do the inner corner of my eye on any of my makeup tutorials uh, but yeah oops <laughs> All right, so next, just a light coat of mascara, uh, and it's oh, almost out of the shot, but it's still a shot, and uh, just a light coat on the top and bottom because we're gonna be putting on fake eyelashes. Yes, and only on one eye. Uh, this is totally not necessary, but I thought that female snake would totally have the most rockin' eyelashes, so why not? All right, so we have the basic face done. Now I'm gonna do the scars. So using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Eyebrow Wiz pencil, or any brown or even a lip liner pencil would work for doing this. You just basically need something to create the scar line so you know where to put the uh, rigid collodion later. Um, and you can put stitches, you can put um, scars where there were stitches at one time. Snake kind of has it all on his face. Uh, there's lots of scars to work with, so definitely make sure you use a reference picture so you know where all of the scars are, because there's a lot of them, and you do not want to put them on the wrong side of your face. So, uh, And I'm also going to be switching up between uh, using the eyebrow pencil with my black eyeliner pencil uh, around the eye and the lip, because I'm not going to be putting any of the scarring material there, and uh, I just wanted to make those scar lines look a little bit thicker and show up a little bit more, since they're not gonna be having the rigid collodion on them. Just a little bit of eyeliner on there, just to make it pop a little bit more. Totally works. And uh, to kind of create the scar over the eyebrow, I erased where I colored in my eyebrow in that spot and uh, darkened the edges around it so it looks like I have a scar that actually goes through my eyebrow. Um, feel free to do this however you see fit, but I like the results. And the big ol' scar across the nose, all the way over the ear, he has it. Uh, but I didn't want to put any rigid collodion on my ears, obviously, that stuff kind of stings when you take it off, so I do not want to peel it off my ear. Which you guys will see that stuff in a minute. You're probably like, what is this rigid collodion stuff you're talking about, Susie? But uh, it is a scarring liquid. Uh, it just kind of stretches the skin so it looks like the skin has an old scar there. Uh, and you'll see, oh, and that's Mimi. Hi, Mimi. She definitely wanted to see what I was doing tonight, so she had to jump in shot, as usual. All right, so I think that's all the scarring. There's the rigid collodion I was telling you about. Uh, so this, I'm just speeding up because it's. I do a lot of coats. I even cut a lot of this out. Um, you just put a coat on, just with a little brush, and then you reapply it a couple seconds later after it dried. And uh, I actually use the whole bottle. Uh, but I would recommend using even more because Snake has a lot of scars. So uh, just reapply and reapply and reapply until you get the desired effect. And I find that usually about six or seven coats is a good match. This stuff uh, is really easy to take off. You just peel it off, but if it's on anywhere where there's hair, it will pull out the hair. And also, I would not put this anywhere near your mouth or your eyes. You'll see I don't put this on the eye scar. Uh, this stuff does kind of sting your eyes if you have it close to your eyes, and it does burn your nose. Um, but it's totally safe for your skin, so says the bottle, and it's very easy to take off. So, yay, always do a test patch. All right, and the last step would be attaching the shrapnel to the forehead or the horn. Uh, after I take this drink, I don't know why I left this shot in, but I did. All right, so I had these 3D printed uh, by this amazing cosplayer shop on Etsy. I'll have that link down below. Uh, the girl was amazing and super accommodating to me. I'm not getting paid to say this. She's just awesome. Um, I'm attaching these with my, light, my uh, latex eyelash glue because uh, it gives you the chance to reposition it if you want to and then re-stick it down and then it dries that way. Um, and it does not hurt to take off. 
So you can also use a uh, liquid skin. What's that stuff called? I don't remember, but it'll be linked down below. I just like the eyelash glue because it's easy to take off and I already have it. And this is the finished look. Uh, these scars don't show up as well on camera. I'll take some pictures though, put them on Instagram and stuff for you guys. Uh, so you guys can kind of see a more like cool shot of how it looks all finished. Uh, but I'm very pleased with the end result. Uh, if you're wondering where I got all the accessories from, I'll have them listed down below. Um, and yeah, happy cosplaying. I'm going to be having the guy version of this tutorial coming out pretty soon. I'm going to have my husband Aaron model that for you guys. Uh, so I'm going to make him up to look like Snake. Uh, so if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have some more awesome videos coming up that you guys don't want to miss. And if you haven't seen it yet, check out my quiet tutorial. I also did quiet makeup from Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain as well. And I'll have that link down below too. So I'll see you guys all later. Bye everybody!